Hello there, okay, I'm going to show you my script for working out spacing and doing spacing diagrams. <laughs> we have an object here, it's animated, and it's kind of jumping up and holding in the air. And to see how that is a timing diagram, we can load up this script. Get the script editor up, this is the overall out. We need a source script, we find a script called Spacer, you can download that from the link I've got below and make a button out of that. I've got a button that already did that enabled. And it's as simple as this. All you do is select your object and click space. And that's your spacing diagram. It works out the name of the object and it shows how it's been spaced together. So you can see at the top of the curve here, the spacing is tight. Okay, which corresponds to it slows down, the timing slows down. And here it quick speeds up. And here it slows down again. And there we go. So you can see those two sections where we've got um, compression and spacing over the time. So that's the first one. And if you change the animation, say we change this and get rid of a couple of these keyframes. So I'm changing the spacing on this half of the arc. And I'm going to update that. So you just select your object, don't have to do anything else, and just run the script again. So now that section there, if you change the spacing in that particular section, it will still get the bunched up spacing on that side there. How about that? So that's the first script that I want to demonstrate and if you were to have another object inside there again um, say I duplicated this one I'll just go to control shift D to duplicate this so that it has um, exactly the same animation but I'll change the animation a little bit so this one is going to be a little bit down here this will go exactly to that keyframe a little bit down to there and then this one will be down to there and then this one will be up here a little bit and then this one will be there and stuff so different slightly different animation but at least we get to see that um, that we can how it works with multiple objects so here we'll finish in the same spot so we've got two different objects with different animations this is our original object the merge lines here and this is the one for 305 lines so to see that one there again just select it run it and it shows a different animation for the different that's merge sphere one look at the other one, let's pick the right object, that's merge sphere 2, so run that one, and it's a different path, although a bit odd, but there's the different timing diagram for a different object. So we select whatever you're interested in, that's the first part. The second part is it only works on the uh, window, the frame window, so if you were to change the window, say, down to only 20, and select your object, space it, it only runs for that particular space. So if you're interested, say, from frame 20 to frame 50, just change the window that you're interested in, and then run it again, and that's what we get. So there's merge 2, and we'll go back to merge sphere 1. That shows the, the line of action and the timing diagram for that particular object. So I hope that that's of some use to someone. Have a go with it. If it works for you, that's great. Let me know. If not, uh, let me know.